Math point 12, properties of quadrilaterals and rectangular prisms. On the SAT, you have this reference sheet, and you can get that reference sheet by clicking on the reference button on the top right corner. Um, you get this, and this tells you the different uh, formulas for circles. A is the area, C is the circumference, that's area, and this tells you the relationship among the three sides of a triangle. This is the Pythagorean theorem and you have these special right triangles and so on and you have the the volume of different kind of shapes uh, there's this uh, cone and a um, rectangular prism and oh, sorry rectangular uh, pyramid and this may be helpful if you don't remember the formula even though you should and but if not then the reference sheet is there as long as you know the basics and these questions shouldn't be too difficult, but we'll go through a few practice questions here and we'll see if those are uh, confusing or not. A rectangular volleyball court has an area of 162 square meters. When you're doing questions that are kind of like shapes, whether it's a 2D shape like flat ones or 3D shape, it's always good to be able to see them visually instead of just imagining them in your head. So. A strategy here is to always draw out what you know. And you don't know how the volleyball court looks like, so I'm going to just draw a rectangle because this is a rectangle. And this one has an area of six, 162. So I'm going to type area equals 162 here. If the length of the court is twice the width, twice the width, what is the width of the court in meters? So there are length and there are width. Um, which side you call length or width it doesn't really matter. And it says the length of the court. This side is twice the width. This is twice T-H-E, twice the width. So that means if you look at... I'm going to draw a rectangle here to help you picture what that looks like. So whatever this side is, I'm gonna maybe make it a line. Whatever this side is, it says this is twice, the length is twice the length of this. So that means this is, if I wanna move that here, then it's gonna look like that and that. Does that make sense? Because it's twice the length. So you have, and obviously I'm not, draw, I'm not drawing this to scale, but this is what that means. So. If you're able to understand what this means pictorially, then maybe you can imagine that this side is the width, and you can call that x or whatever, but maybe calling it w is easier because that's the width, the w. And here this whole thing is the length, but here you have a length of w and another length of w. So everything here together is like having two w's. Okay, that's everything here together. Two W's, and the question says the length of the court. The area has one sixty-two, and you're looking for the width. You're looking for what W equals to. Here, the area is the length times the width. So that means if you have two W times W, you would get the area, and that's one sixty-two. And the rest is solving that with a calculator to find out what W is. So you divide 2 on both sides. Um, if I do 2x equals 162, um, I can divide x. So normally you would do 162 divided by 2, you get 81. And then 81 equals W squared, so the square root, square root of that is Q or T, Q, square root of square root of 181 is 9 and 9 is w. That's how you do it the, the traditional calculator way. But we can just graph it. You graph this, you see a line. The x value here is for this line is always going to be 9. 9 comma something, 9 comma something. So the x is 9. You get that right away here. So the answer is 9, which is 8. And it's the same idea when it comes to other kind of shapes. You just need to remember the formula. And then once you remember the formula, you apply that formula to the numbers that the question gives you and you can solve it. 
this question has cube so cube is a shape that looks like this but the sides are the same so it's kind of like a, a die surface area surface area is the area of the side here and in math you learn even though if you didn't learn you could maybe still imagine that well surface area means the area of all the the sides on the outside so a cube has one two three four at the bottom five in the back and six on the left side hidden a cube has six sides and in these six sides they have a surface area of 54 square meters 54 square meters for the whole shape and there are six sides and six sides all of them are equal that means 54 divided by 6 gives you 9 and that's the area of one side of the cube what is the volume in cube cubic meters. You're trying to find the volume. The volume is length times width times height. So you need to know ultimately the length, width, and height. And right now we only know the area of one side is 9. But since it's cube and length and width are the same, that means the side here is the square root of 9. And you probably remember that that is 3 without using a calculator. If you don't, then calculator is here. So length is 3, width is 3, and height is 3. So 3 times 3 times 3, because here it tells you the volume is multiplying all of them together. You get 27, and that's the answer. Let's do number 3 here. Uh, 3 may look a little bit different because there's this um, x asks you what x represents instead of giving you the choices here. A room has a shape of a rectangular prism. And prism is it's like this 3D shape. So we're gonna um, we can draw that on the on the side here or uh, in, in your scrap paper. A room has a shape like that. It says three meters high. So the ceiling side is three meters. And it says it's. One point five times as long as it is wide. Okay, so the the room looks like looks like that. Okay, and that's the the floor of the room, and that's the the ceiling. The question says it's one point five times as long as it is wide. So this can be a little bit tricky in trying to figure out which one is the length and which one is the height. And if you take a look at the choices here there's length and there's width sorry length and the the width the choices have length and width so that means you probably need to know which one is which and you can't just like switch them something is 1.5 times as long as as it is wide that means the wide is shorter and the other side the length is wider a way to think of it using like common sense is if someone says i am one uh, two times um you want to say taller my my test score is two times as high as it is yours then that means i have higher test score and this and you have a lower test score so that means y is the the lower value so i can call this as the width and then i can call this as the length and it says the length is 1.5 times the width. If the volume of this room, 3, and the volume at the top, it says it's length times width times height, so length times width times height. This gives us 4.5 w squared. And what could x represent? In my in this case, then this x is this w here, and this w is my width. So the answer is b. If you mess up on the length and width, then you would get a instead of b. So this question is kind of tricky with its wording, but if you if this wording is confusing at first, but you use common sense English, think about if I am two times richer as you are, if I have two times as many dogs as you do then who has more dogs? I do. So you, the second thing here, is the lower one. That's how you can un try to understand what the question means. I, I don't think this unit is too difficult. 
um, as long as you remember the properties of the different shapes, you should be okay. But do these practice questions and see if you can get the hang of it. If not, then let us know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.